Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see about crude oil breakout levels. By watching this video you can gain more knowledge about market so that you can trade on your own. For that this video will be very helpful for you. Those who are new to channel kindly subscribe the channel and select the ring bell. Channel name is NSC Commodity Trader. By selecting the name of this channel you will go to home page. In home page you can see more strategy and indicated videos. By watching this video you can gain more knowledge about market. We are also taking more advanced trading strategy class. If you want to know about it you can whatsapp or contact the number. If you want to open your DMAT or trading account kindly select the link in below description. The account opening process will follow or contact the number the guidance will be provided for you. Crude oil. Let's take a look at crude oil what happened in the morning market. Today crude oil um, like 30% uh, down how to say 1000 point down like that also we can say. Uh, previously before our market also opened in the world market itself the market was down up to 32%. So our market has been the lower fees has been continuously uh, down after that continuous down once it reaches the 30% our market got settled down. After it settled down at the 2151 range market started to trading after 11 o'clock. During that time after some time uh, market started to trade the market started to made a recovery mode. During that recovery mode market started to uh, rise up. So during this time currently market is in crude oil is in buying trend only. In the overall trend if you take a look at means crude oil is in buying trend. But why market down? Why 30% down? Why 1000 point down? Like that if you ask means there is uh, two things that happened in the market. One thing is everyone knows about it that is coronavirus. What is the next thing that happened to the market? That is because of the um, dollar price got reduced. Like how much means it is reduced to only 30 dollar per barrel like that it is reduced due to that the 30% down also happened and one more thing what is that impacted market is OPEC meeting during the OPEC meeting on Friday uh, those countries import uh, taking the production of uh, crude oil they said they will not cut the production if they are not going to cut the production of crude oil means then there will be more supply if there is more supply means then there will be no demand for it so the huge blow will happen because just from uh, China itself we are saving 20% of fuel for the world according to the world so if you take a look at the world so many countries has been the coronavirus has been spreader so it is going to impact us someday like that we have expected previously also so due to there is no production cut Saudi Arabia is the major country that is giving the oil so currently they are going to deliver uh, to other countries like Asia with a reduction of 4 to 6 dollar per barrel and for US they are going to reduce up to 7 dollar. So it made a huge blow to the market due to that market 30% down has been happened. So due to this news only market started to falling during that fall market came down up to 2151 market previous close is 3159 so today low is 2151 it is more than 1000 points so due to that news the market started to fall after that it made some recovery so currently we are expecting more recovery and more positiveness in the market only so if it hold us 2400 range means the market will be in positive side only evening trend also positive side you can buy the crude oil and you can expect it in upside but if it break 2400 it is going to be a volatile market it will move very largely like that okay let's take a look at uh, zinc mini in zinc mini from the opening itself market was down during that down it came down up to 150 range after it came down to 150 range market again rallied upside during that rally it faced the resistance near to 152 so again market came down it ended up as a rally to 152 152 so currently market has been uh, like how to say fixed between this two point range so if you see any strong breakout of 150 range means uh, you can expect the zinc to be in the downside so zinc need to trade more for more time below 150 if it happened means you can sell the zinc mini and you can expect it in upside Meanwhile market tried to break out this 152 range. If market break out this 152 means you can buy the zinc mini and you can expect it in the uptrend also. Let's take a look at copper. Copper from the morning itself market was down. Um, in overall look also copper was in downtrend only. And when the morning itself it came down up to 418.50 range. 
so on further cut off low you can expect copper in more downside only so if copper cut at the low you can sell the copper and you can expect it in downside so for recovery it need to break out this 423 range so if you see any breakout near 423 you can buy the copper and you can expect it in upside okay we are also taking more advanced trading strategy class if you want to know about it you can whatsapp or contact the number which is given below the video we are also taking more advanced trading strategy class if you want to know about it you can whatsapp or contact the number if you want to open your dmat or trading account kindly select the link in below description or contact the number the guidance will be provided for you in future if you want to see more videos like this means kindly subscribe my channel and select the ring bell so that you will get to be updated in the market thank you